Welcome back. Severe Weather Awareness Week continues, and today we are focusing on hail. Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassidy joins us now with a look at how you can be prepared for that. Danny, we know hail can certainly do a lot of damage to cars and crops and all kinds of things. Yeah, it certainly can. And going back to the Iowa State thing, I'm wearing my Iowa State tie. I know I'm not wearing a schmedium for any suit. And I was curious. That was actually a good question. So, Mark, thank you for getting down to the brunt of that. But let's talk a little bit of weather. I'm a little bit more of an expert on that rather than polo sizes. So let's go inside a thunderstorm. Again, hail, how it forms. First, we'll talk about that. It's all due to updraft, so that's kind of the brunt of it. An updraft is kind of the fuel, the driving force behind a thunderstorm and keeping it alive. And basically what will happen is raindrops will go below the freezing level and those updrafts will take it back up and basically freeze that water drop and continuously add more and more ice until eventually it's too heavy and falls to the ground. And one thing to note is it's more common to see hail in spring because that freezing level is lower. Now, of course, to be prepared for any hail, make sure your car is inside a garage or under an underhang. I know that's not always possible, so worst comes to worst, you could try to do this. Looks like a little raft or some towels or cardboard. Do not recommend this, but worst case, you could try this. But of course, in any severe weather, make sure to go to the lowest level of your home, whether that be a basement or an interior room, and of course, cover your head with any hail or wind or any severe storm. And coming up at six, we'll talk a little bit more about how to be prepared for any damaging wind gusts. Elizabeth? I'm impressed with the lengths that people will go to to protect their cars. I know.